Well, a new study is happening at the Lake Superior Zoo right now. The results, glowing creatures. A biofluorescence amphibian identification study is taking place to help tell amphibians apart without invasive measures. Biofluorescence is where spectrums of light shine on an organism, causing it to reflect a different wavelength of light. With over 40 types of reptiles and amphibians at the zoo, it can be difficult to provide the right care for each one of them, so they hope a little science can help. Biofluorescence is a very unique part of nature that we're just starting to learn more about. It started with undersea life in corals and fish, and now as we're expanding our range to see what else does that, um, we're getting more and more into amphibians, some birds, some mammals will biofluoresce. We just have to find the right wavelengths. The zoo plans to use special underwater flashlights to produce light wavelengths. Amphibians like Eugene the axolotl will then be put inside a black box where their photo will be taken. And from that photo, zookeepers can keep track of who needs more care, who's not eating enough, and even who is breeding with who, similar to marine life. I know that there has been research in um, the shark field and the whale field where they take pictures of their fins and their flukes and they're able to tell them apart with the different markings. Tigers, even though they all look the same, all have individualized stripes. You can tell them apart that way. With frogs, you don't see them as often and they're usually hiding, but being able to do something as easy as that, as take a photo to tell them apart would be amazing. That is pretty cool. If you want to check out other amphibians like Eugene the Axolotl, the Lake Superior Zoo has several exhibits open.